Hey guys, what's up? It's Natalie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about one of my favorite things to talk about in the world. I could go on and on. Today we're going to be talking about Virginia Tech. So basically today's video is going to be all about the tips, tricks, and hacks, and everything that I wish I knew as a freshman going into Virginia Tech. I am the first person in my family to go to Virginia Tech. I didn't really know anyone who went to Virginia Tech, and I kind of just went here on a whim, and I knew it was like a big school, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to Virginia Tech. So I was starting completely clean slate. I literally knew nothing. Everything that I've learned and everything that I'm about to tell you is real. So if you're going to be a freshman at Virginia Tech, you have come to the right video. I'm going into my junior year. Listen up, people, because I'm going to give you the goods. Diving right into it, campus. Virginia Tech's campus, it's a big campus, but it's not that big. It's not that hard once you like get a good grip on it. After a couple weeks, you'll have a good bearing of where you are on campus for the most part. By the middle of freshman year, as long as you don't just like stay cooped up in your dorm, Dorm, you'll have everything down. But for when you first get there, I would definitely recommend using Google Maps. If you need to go to a classroom building and you have no idea where it is, put it on the walking setting. It'll tell you exactly how to get there, how long it'll take you to get there. For me, I lived in a pretty far dorm. It never takes you more than like 20 minutes to walk anywhere. Also, I wanted to say that no dorm is very far from anything. I lived in New Hall West my freshman year and when I first chose that dorm everyone was like oh it's like the farthest dorm from everything the dorms are like surrounded by stuff and there's stuff all over the residential side of campus so don't get freaked out by that all the dorms are very close together it's a big campus but it's very like compact all of the dorms are like close to dining halls like even new hall west it was on the farther side of campus but i was right next to west end dining hall a four or five minute walk to d2 and to deets and i don't think that there's a bad like location to live on campus. You'll be walking a lot, but walking is like good. It was so good for me freshman year. It was combating that freshman 15, if you know what I mean. Like Virginia Tech's got that good food. I, I was a walker. I was walking a lot. There are also buses. Virginia Tech has such a good bus system. Download the BT Transit app. Most of the time the buses are really reliable. Figure out how to use the buses early on. They run super late at night. They go every single day day of the week, make sure that is an amenity that you will utilize. Overall, walk around, put in your AirPods and take a little walk. I love Virginia Tech's campus. It's great, guys. Now to talk about one of my favorite things about Virginia Tech, the dining. I'm going to give it to you guys real right now. Wow. Virginia Tech has good food and it has food for picky eaters. It has food for like developed palates. Virginia Tech is rated number two in the country for their campus food and it's for a reason. Basically, I'm not gonna get too into it because you're just gonna figure it out pretty quickly. The dining plans, if you live on campus, you have to get a dining plan. You can get like a really big one where you get a ton of money. You can just get a small one. I think I got the smallest one and like I was fine. And you can always add money. On your Hokey P, your student ID card that you get, it's going to be like a debit card. You're going to have a certain amount of money that you get to spend at all the dining halls. Almost everywhere using your dining plan, everything is 50% off. If you go to the on-campus Chick-fil-A or the Dunkin' Donuts, everything's going to be 50% off, which is really fun. The one all-you-can-eat dining hall on campus is called D2. It's on the residential side of campus, like right in the middle of all the dorms. The food is okay. Normal, like all-you-can-eat buffet food, but that is, I believe, 75% off, so it's very cheap to eat there. You're gonna be taken care of. Having a dining plan is a super fun thing about being a freshman. And then on the academic side of campus, this is me really hooking you guys up because freshmen kind of aren't supposed to know about this. Turner Dining Hall is the best dining hall, but it's on the academic side of campus. So like not a lot of freshmen like really know about it because it's like an upper class dining hall. It is really yummy. Probably my favorite dining hall out of all of them if I could only eat at one. 
it would be at Turner. So venture over there, get your roommate, get your friend that you just met last night, walk over there. It is worth it, I promise you. I hope you guys are taking notes because I'm really spitting facts right now. Like moving on from dining plans, the next thing that I wanna talk about is stay with me, the importance of going to football games. They are in the fall. And I just wanna say, even if you're not a sports fan, even if you're not a football person, Virginia Tech is super unique and it's extreme value for school spirit. They have crazy football games where it's beyond football. Like our football team is fine. Support them till the day I die. Go Hokies, I love it. But it's not really about the football when you go there. It's fun to watch the football game if you're like interested in that kind of thing, but I'm a girl and I'm there for the experience. And that's what you get. Enter Sandman, our entrance when the football team comes out is so hype. It's so important for like the Virginia Tech experience. You do have to buy tickets. So I would suggest honestly splurging if you can to get the season tickets. You're only here for four years and guys, it goes so fast. Now I wanna talk about like a little bit of the experience that you're going to have like right when you get there. Freshmen get to come a little earlier than everyone else. And that, let me tell you is an electric time or classes even start it is like free for all summer camp embrace it and just go with it it is all freshmen on that campus you're all just arriving to college no one knows what they're doing so just talk to people make friends get snapchats ask people to go to lunch everyone there is looking to make friends it is the perfect time and like one of the only times in your life where you will just be able to immediately make friends Okay, I'm posting this video kind of in the middle of the summer before the school year starts. So if you are an incoming freshman currently to Virginia Tech, you've probably already dealt with this. But for people who are still kind of early on, this is for you. Finding roommates your freshman year can be super stressful, overwhelming, and honestly, kind of scary. Here is my best tip that I can give you. Go on that Instagram page that is for your class, your acceptance class. I'm class of 2025. So it was Virginia Tech class of 2025 on Instagram. They will accept DMs of like a picture of you and then a small bio. And they'll like post it on this Instagram and it has thousands of followers from everyone in your class. And it's all people trying to meet new people, trying to find roommates. People will reach out to you wanting to be a roommate or just to talk, just to like meet you. It just makes meeting a roommate much less of a gamble. It's a great resource that you should definitely use. Okay, I'm not gonna go super into this next part because I want to make it into its own video. Just a very brief few words about Greek life. Just because as a freshman, boys can rush frats like your very first semester. And then girls, formal rush for sororities is in the winter. So you kind of have to decide like by the end of the fall. I personally, rushed a sorority as a sophomore. I love it. It's great. I can't say enough good things about it, but seriously, it's not for everyone right when you get to school. Rushing can be a big commitment. It just takes time and effort and it's a whole thing different than your social life just normally at school. I love Greek life. I'm so glad I joined, but just make sure that it is really something that you're ready to take on. Also, just really quick, if you are so against Greek life, like, uh, I'm not a sorority girl or uh, I'm not a frat guy. I would suggest looking beyond the stereotypes that you've been told about Greek life. They are for everyone. They are for all different types of people. There are cool, chill people, as well as the people who want to be really involved. Okay, I know I'm just dumping a lot of information on you, but just try to absorb as much as you can. One of the last things I want to talk about today is your housing for sophomore year. It seems super early on as a freshman to be even thinking about that, but just something to keep in the back of your mind as you start your freshman year at Virginia Tech, because in Blacksburg, for whatever reason, everyone signs their leases for the next year in like October of the year like before. My advice for that is do not feel pressured to sign something too early, especially if you don't know anything about it or you're not sure about the people that are wanting to like live with you or you're wanting to live with. You can wait on it. Places will have occupancy open like later on. Like don't stress out about that too much. You have time. You don't really have to rush, but like if you want to or if 
if you have specific needs, everybody is signing in the fall, which seems crazy and it is, but whatever. Also, it's very tricky, obviously, deciding on your roommates for the next year. Like, stuff can happen. So even if you're like best friends right now and you're having such a good time, you do not know how you're gonna feel about them in seven months. Stuff can happen. Really make sure that your guys' vibes are matching with like how you're taking care of your dorm or how they take care of their space or how you guys mesh. And if there is like a little bit of, I don't know, a little bit of anything, I would just be kind of weary about that. Tensions can still be high. So just keep that in mind. And it's something that you might just have to learn the hard way. Me watching two freshman year roommates sign a lease for an apartment, I cannot interfere. It is a canon event. So just see how that goes. It's tricky. I am so excited for you if you are an incoming freshman to Virginia Tech. Like I said, I was super scared going into it. I had no idea what to expect as a freshman, but I just had so much fun. It was a crazy time and it's going to be a crazy time for you, for your self-development, for your friends. If I was a freshman going into Virginia Tech, I would be so excited. So get hype. You're going to have an amazing time and I'll see you in Blacksburg. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to make a ton more videos just like this. Comment down below if you have any questions about Virginia Tech. I'd love to answer it with my infinite knowledge. I'll see you next time. Have a great rest of your day and go Hokies.